Knock the dust off the camera lens Hear the sounds and feel the wind Cast it out and reel it in I'm just trying to catch a vibe I don't think I'll rest tonight I don't wanna let this go I know that we get to all oh, Everything takes time, I know I don't wanna wait till tomorrow Good morning everyone, today is, the is a beautiful day in North Carolina It's the weekend of the 4th of July and we're going on a 5 day trip to uh, Cape Lookout which is um, an island uh, in the Outer Banks in North Carolina So I'm currently in the car in the Walmart parking lot waiting for Michael So we already drove an hour and we have one and a half hour left uh, to get to the ferry which is going to take us to um, the island is coming victorious so it's our third time doing this trip and I think this time it's the most stuff we have ever had Hopefully we're prepared. So we have an hour and 36 minutes left. Cape Lookout National Seashore is only accessible by ferry. There is no established campground and no paved road. The only way to drive from north to south on the island is to drive either on the beach or on the trail. So we have a 4Runner Airsoft 5 Premium Super Gas, so the sand is not a big deal. And when our friends with the Tesla decided to join us, we were not worried either. But the people at the ferry did not really believe in Ellen's wagon off-road capability. Oh, Layla. Hi. You have this, your little fan? Oh, uh, really? So this will be our first time. Oh, uh, you is This is the uh, first time for them seeing a Tesla. A little concerning. Uh, but we'll see, you know. I don't think it's going to be too bad, though. I mean, we're in scenario, we just have to dig, no? And yeah, avoid and have, the wheels. We have, we have boards, and they have boards. We have four boards, mm -hmm. you know. So if the car gets stuck, but the bottoming out part, the level, uh, the clearance of it. Like the middle of it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the height. makes sense. How do you feel, Justin? Confident? <laughs> Can be sure. Yeah, it's gonna be okay. The only other thing I suggest is, buddy, when you get over there, just kind of survey the scene real good. I wouldn't, mm -hmm. if I was you, I mean, I wouldn't try to drive through no soft sand. Yeah. But you might make it fine. We're we gonna, we gonna, we gonna take a look at it, see what it's like.
it. No car has been stuck. All right. And we're going to see who unfold the tent faster. It was a first time camping with a car tent. Don't be fooled by the sped up footage. It probably took us a solid hour to figure out how to put it up. Nonetheless, I really enjoy having a place for our stuff. And this tent probably saved us from burning to the ground during the day and from the bug at night. Everybody is still asleep. It, I think it's around 6.30 right now. First of all, we all made it. Uh, our car made it. The Tesla made it. We finally found a place to camp. And uh, we set up the tent. It was really hot, so setting up the tent in the heat was really exhausting. Uh, the rangers told us that there was going to be um, a lot of tide, and uh, the tide was way bigger than what I thought. And uh, we were a little bit concerned that the tide would get to our camp, but uh, fortunately it did not. So we had a very long path be between our car in the ocean and around 6 30 oh i would say even six the water was already here so we were really concerned that the water would get all the way there but it did not but the water came about here i don't know what's the plan for today yet i really want to go see the lighthouse since it's the morning and I'm the only one up and I have nothing else to do I'm going to try to go in the water here this morning the, the water looks way more calm than last night so it should be okay yeah that's about it I am not going to try to fight. I'm a good swimmer, but no, I am not trying to die. Not today. In the meantime, while I wait for Buddy to wake up, I guess I'm just going to be here reading and uh, waiting. I'm curious to know if uh, there is anyone else like me that uh, wakes up early while camping. What do you do while you wait for, you know? people to wake up and the day to start.
very low so it looks interesting we are about to have a swing over there <laughs> What's up, Crocodile Michael? Hi, mate. Today we got us a big Carolina Gator down here in the island of Cape Lookout. It's a beautiful historical island with the Argyle Lighthouse. And here, when the tide is low, this is where the Carolina Coastal Gator likes to roam. Hopefully we'll find one today. Let me develop what Michael just said. Well, when camping at Cape Lookout, you can enjoy stunning views of the ocean and the surrounding islands. And if you are lucky, you can admire a variety of wildlife, including dolphins, whales, and sea turtles. Camping at Cape Lookout is far from being easy. It's a remote location, so you have to make sure you bring all the gear necessary to brave the weather which can be unpredictable. The bugs are pretty terrible at nighttime and in the morning, and it's a beach, so you should not mind being sticky all day. Despite these challenges, camping at Cape Lookout is a rewarding experience. We are so used to living in an environment where we can control everything, and we are so disconnected from nature. If we are too hot, we can crank up the AC. If there are bugs, we can just close our doors. While camping, I was hyper aware of the elements surrounding me, focused on connecting with the people around me, and not interested by the distraction of the modern world. It made me remember that we are part of nature, and we have to listen to it. There is nothing we can do about the tide. When the water rises, all we can do is adapt. <laughs> 